driving. And welcome back. Here's tonight's Arby's trivia question. What is the record for three pointers made in a game yeah. at the Levy Center? Is it six, seven, eight, or nine? We'll have the answer a little bit later on in the show. Guys, interesting call a moment ago by Dick Cartmel. You don't want to question him. I mean, he's done like 100 Final Fours. Olenek called for the block here. Count the bucket. Or I'm sorry, offensive foul called. Count the bucket, though. And what Carmel's saying is he's released the ball before contact's made. So the shot's good. It's after the ball's released. It's a charge. Kelly Olenek's there in time. Uh, it looks like a charge. Just an interesting call to count the bucket. Uh, the Broncos will take it. You don't see that very often, Dan. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, it looked like Kelly was there. But again, you don't you don't argue with Dick Carmel. <laughs> Referee a number of Final Fours. If you ask any coach in this league which ref they want refing a high-level game like tonight's, they would say Dick Carmel. Yeah, I agree. That's the first foul on Olenek teams first. Gonzaga's lead has been trimmed to two. And guys, how often do we hear that the first five minutes of the second half so very important? And it was so very important for Santa Clara to come out and establish themselves, and they have. Yeah, they really have. They've come out to play. Foster's just been tremendous on the offensive end, not only searching out his own looks, but he's gotten Trasolini a couple easy buckets by drawing the defense. And that's important. If you're G, you'd love to come out and eliminate any belief Santa Clara might have. But Santa Clara right now knows they're in a the game, and they're playing with a ton of energy. Trasolini with six points in this second half. They need an offense somewhere else, and they're getting it. There's Olenek. Bounce pass, Mike Hart. No call there, and Olenek banks it in. The fans are upset. They're looking for the travel. Well, as long as both feet hit the floor at the same time, that is not a travel. Rockamore into the corner. This is Clark. Left it for Trasolini. Olenek flashed at him, changed the shot, and the ball goes out of bounds with 16 on the shot clock. Mike Hart recovers and makes it, what makes what looks like an easy two points a little more difficult. Right here, Trasolini thinks he has the dump. Good hustle from Hart, but credit Trasolini for staying with the play. Yeah, there was a foul call there on Mike Hart. That's his first team second. Foster right over Sand Dower who got out there a bit late. Ball won't drop. Stockton trying to keep it alive. Out of bounds and it belongs to Santa Clara. That would have been a tough one for Santa Clara to handle if Stockton beat Garrett to that basketball. Yeah, almost a fast break but good also on both ends. Garrett, the seven footer for Santa Clara, keeps that ball alive. That's why he's out there. He's big, occupies a lot of space, and he plays hard on both backboards. Well, Gonzaga in a zone on this possession. They've got to make sure they locate shooters on the perimeter. Foster driving on Penguins. Rockamore on the baseline. He kicks it out to Foster. And a foul inside before the shot. And they'll give this to Sam Dower. So Sam picks up his first. It'll be team's third. And that's what Rockamore can do a great job is penetrate, probe that defense, collapse it, find open guys on the perimeter, just like he did there with Foster. He's had great recognition. He sees a big step out to try to guard him on that three-point line. He doesn't mess around. He looks to get to the rim right away, force that defense to collapse. Mark to the post. Garrett, left-hand jump. No good. Tip back in by Trasolini, who's got eight points this half for Santa Clara. Think the redshirt senior came to play. And the turnover. Rockamore at the other end into the corner, taken back by Bell up court to Pangos. He's all alone. The run out lay-in. You don't see that often. Rockamore with this careless mistake. And you go from looking like you're gonna get an easy two points to giving up two on the other end. Well, it was a great hustle play by Gary Bell. Just getting himself back in transition defense. You're taught. Ball's contained on one side. Go to the open man. That's what he did. Clark fires it through. One point game. Each team with five turnovers now. 
And this game has a feel, Greg, that it might go down in the last possession or two. Stockton. Now to Olenek. Olenek drives hard. And a chance for three. How many times have we seen that this season? Where did that come from? Gonzaga well, didn't see that in his mentality two years ago. You didn't see that in his mentality, but what you're seeing is a player whose confidence is growing literally every week, even every game. He gets more and more comfortable with the thing that, things that he's allowed to do. And one of the things that is a tough guard, a tough scout, is Kelly goes left better than he goes right. That's rare for guards, let alone bigs. Garrett just picked up his fourth personal foul, and he stays in the game for head coach Kerry Keating. Five team fouls on Santa Clara. There's Garrett. Poked away. Stockton with it. He's got the numbers. Three on two. Stockton over his head. And the finish by Dower. What was that? Wow. Well, I'm not quite sure if David meant to throw that to Sam or Gary, but it got in Sam's hands and worked out. Heck of a play. <laughs> Even sure his dad did that. I'm not sure they teach that anywhere. That's just great feel from Stockton. <laughs> but the thing you love about David for this ball club is he's willing to take a gamble more so than a lot of players, and more often than not, it pays off. Right on the shot clock. Foster with Olenek right there. This is deep. Dead on, but long. Dower kept it alive, and Garrett just fouled out of the ball game. Excellent box out there from Dower. But how about the confidence from Foster, fellas? That's 30 feet off one dribble over a seven-footer. That looked good. Robert Garrett, seven feet tall, the biggest of their bigs, fouls out with 12 minutes and seven seconds to play. He has not scored a point tonight. That's a big loss for Santa Clara. Yeah, you don't look for him to give you a lot statistically, but that size is going to be missed, no doubt about it, Greg. Gonzaga's lead is at five with possession. Stockton again deep and lay in. Boy, Santa Clara can't give up a play like that at this stage of the game. Back to seven points. Timeout, Kerry Keating. Gentlemen, I mean, that's very difficult to give up right here as David Stockton, the no look over the head, finished by Dower. Gonzaga's lead is back to seven in Santa Clara. It's not unusual in the sports world for your team to have. And welcome back to the Levy Center in Santa Clara, number 10 Gonzaga with a seven point lead on the Santa Clara Broncos. Kelly Olenek, a new career high, 23 points tonight. 10 of 12 from the floor, guys. Best game of his career to this point? Most efficient, and he's been a handful. Santa Clara's had no answer, and he's done most of his work on perimeter catches, and then he's looked to take the defense off the dribble, and Trasolini, Garrett, None of the frontline players for Santa Clara have been able to stop him on that drill penetration. Brandon Clark, number three, with the ball. Grassolini, a big second half for Santa Clara. And of course, Kevin Foster is racking him up as well. There's Grassolini inside. That one won't go. Olenek, another rebound. Well, Grassolini is definitely a key to this game. In the 12 wins for Santa Clara this year, he's averaged over 18 a game, and their three losses have only been around seven. Great anterior passing, Olenek to Dower. And it's out to a nine-point game with 11 minutes to play. And Gonzaga on an 8-0 run, and there's another turnover. Turnover number seven for Santa Clara, and they're getting very costly at this point in the game. 10.54 to play. Gonzaga leading it by nine. It's
And welcome back. Here is the answer to tonight's Arby's trivia question. What is the record for three pointers made in a game at the Levy Center? The answer is nine. Kevin Foster and Dan Dickow, the gentleman sitting to my right, share the record with nine three pointers made in a game at the Levy Center. Foster did it in March of 2011. Dickow did it February 22, 2001. So 10 years apart. <laughs> Dandy Dan, you remember that day? Oh, I remember that day fondly. I know we got to win. <laughs> I think we got to win. <laughs> I think I, uh, I remember nine threes pretty fondly. 23 points tonight gets him to 2,000 for his career. Look at the names that are in front of him. This is in West Coast Conference history now. The great Hank gathers at the top of that list. Foster's not going to get him, but he certainly has a shot to be number two all time and getting in front of Bill Cartwright. A legendary former player at the University of San Francisco. There's Pangos blocked by Rockamore. The Pangos got it back. And here's Bell driving and the lay in. Went right through John MacArthur to get that bucket. Great recognition.